If you enjoy the SOS-Radio podcast as much as we love bringing you stories of the strange, be sure to support the podcast by visiting our sponsors. The easiest thing you could do to support our podcast is clicking our Amazon shopping banners on SOS-Radio.com, ChicagoSOS.com, or SupernaturalOccurrenceStudies.com whenever you want to shop on Amazon. It only takes seconds to do, doesn't cost you a dime, and we receive dollars based on your purchases. Visit our sites, click the banners, bookmark the resulting page, and shop on. We travel a ton to bring you exciting, spooky content. Do you have a long, boring commute day in and day out? What better way to pass the long hours and countless miles than enjoying your favorite audio book? Listening really is the new reading. Right now, for the listeners of the SOS-Radio podcast, Audible.com is offering a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook download by going to www.audibletrial.com slash SOS Radio. You could download an audiobook of your choice from a selection of over 200,000 audio programs from any genre, horror, mystery, sci-fi, nonfiction, anything, narrated by full cast ensembles, A-list celebrities, and unique performers. Help support the SOS-Radio podcast by going to www.audibletrial.com slash SOS Radio and claim your free audiobook now. That's audibletrial.com slash SOS Radio. No dash, listeners. Hello, loyal listeners, and welcome to the SOS-Radio Podcast. All paranormal, all the time. My name is Jason Knight, president and founder of Chicago's own Supernatural Current Studies, and your host into the unknown. With me, as always, are my fellow SOSers and brothers in arms, Mr. Dave Black. Sup? SOS co founder and Claire Sensitive. Producer extraordinaire, Mr. Oscar Spector. What's up? And none other than Joe Erie, SOS member and Claire Sensitive. <laughs> are those alien sounds? Maybe. Well, like drunken bees. <laughs> this is a Tazcam episode, so forgive any uh, audio qualities. But we're on the road. The Nevada extraterrestrial and ghost odyssey continues. Um, we are in the car headed towards um, Area 51 back gate, 1.7 miles from the Little Alien uh, bar and restaurant in Rachel, Nevada. Um, if you head towards Alamo... Nevada from the Alien. It's 1.7 miles down the road. You hook a right, and you're supposed to travel about 10 miles um, down a a rocky road. Eventually, it's supposed to turn into blacktop, and that will get you to the the back entrance, one of the back entrances to Area 51. Um, So this episode is basically going to be Area 51 back gate and E.T. Highway. Later on this evening, we're going to go out on E.T. Highway uh, near the Black Mailbox and sit and skywatch and drop some knowledge. Joe Erie's going to clue us in on some of the history and the, the tales of the extraterrestrial uh, from this area. And we're just going to report on anything that happens on E.T. Highway. We had something pretty, pretty crazy happen to us on E.T. Highway last night. I'm not sure where I'm going to fit that footage in yet, but uh, we'll figure it all out. So right now we're headed down the road towards the back gate. Guys, what are you thinking? I can't wait till we get up there. And I hope this is the road. Yeah, because we're going to travel 10 miles to nowhere if it's not. But this has to be. They, they said it was. It has to be, yeah. Um, according to legend, rumor, we're being watched right now. As soon as you turn off ET Highway, they know you're coming. Um, audio sensing, heat signature, um, video surveillance, it's all, it's all happening right now. So they know we're coming, and chances 
are, they know what we're saying. So, um, Dave, don't say anything crazy. Hamburger, pants, dog man. That They probably think that's code for something nefarious. Now we're going to get shot. They could smell us. They could hear us. Right. They that's, know. What, that's what they say. Exactly. Our sweat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but Dave... They can taste our bodies. So... That's that's true. Um, One thing is for sure is that no matter what, we have to assume the worst or like plan for the worst. So like, it could be all exaggerated. The technology, what they, they can do to us or sense us so badly, it could be exaggerated. But it's better to act on that than it is to assume that they don't know we're here and don't know what we're doing. All right. So anyone, anyone listening, we are come in peace. We're not going to take or touch anything. We just want to. We just want to see. We want to observe. Yeah, my number one thing. I do not want to get arrested. Dude. No, I, I cannot get arrested. I have to go to Texas no. on Monday. I, I cannot get arrested. I technically can. I have no life. But I, I, don't yeah, want I can get arrested. I can deal with that. Yeah, yeah, but the problem is, if one of you fools go down, we all go down. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Right. We've been having a great. Until we get there. Yeah, yeah. We've been having a great trip. We got a lot of great interviews. Uh, awesome stops. Just listen to as these podcasts roll out over the next five, no, 10 or 12 weeks probably because we're bi-weekly, right? So uh, we're we going to... We are all bi. What the f- What is wrong with you two? I mean, honestly. Oh, oh. All right. So we'll, we'll be back in a little bit. We just got on to the, the access road here and pretty rough terrain. So we will be back. So we just ran into a, a herd of what kind of pronghorn antelopes? Pronghorned antelopes. We so uh, saw, we just saw our first one last night on the ET highway, and we just saw a whole little herd of them running around. And we think it really was on this road. And yeah, I think we were we on saw the access road without even knowing it. There was a dead one in front of the little alien, and that might have been the one we saw. It was yeah, right there. Yeah, it was running that way, and it was yeah. Okay, so we'll be back. So we seem to have uh, gotten off of the gravel road and hit it, hit, <laughs> hit it, hit a paved road. Uh, so this must mean we're getting close to the back gate. That's the telltale sign. We definitely are getting yeah. closer and closer to that mountain. Yeah, it is not a hologram. It's a real mountain. Yeah, we are getting to it. Is that a mountain? Is a real hologram? And uh, I don't know what to expect back here. Um, Probably, I'm not expecting much, but we've see. been making to talk. We've been making sure to say crazy things, so in case they're listening in, they just think that we're insane. Which, in retrospect, I don't know if it's a good idea. No, just a bunch of AK AK 47s greet us. Listen, uh, two of us have kids. You know, I don't. I don't think so. Anyway, wait. Did Dave say think they were insane? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just checking in. We'll be back. We seem to have found it. We are approaching it. We see it. Looks like a couple white uh, construction trailers, uh, posts, big posts sticking up. Uh, see a white vehicle. I, dude, I saw something move. I think it's actually a guy. So I don't know if it's a security guard or what. They obviously know we're coming. Oh yeah, they know. Just park on the right side. Go on pool. They know we're coming. I, I'm almost. It's like, I'm afraid like, to even ask them if it's pretend okay. Pretend we're approaching a bouncer at a nightclub that we haven't been to yet. Okay, it's not a big deal. I'm not yeah, even I'm, sure if that's the gate or if that's some sort of substation in front of maybe, the gate. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's their version of a gate. Can't be I'm, right. I'm yeah. nerv. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm nervous walking out with this black box in my hand. No, you're fine. What if they think it's a weapon? You come out without it first, pause it, then when we're out and free, they start recording again. Okay, so, so the, 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 this is uh, definitely the gate. I'm letting you know. Yeah, this, this is, is definitely, definitely the gate. gate. This is now we can't go farther than this point. So we're we trying to say that we have credentials of some kind, but we oh, lost right. our ID. Yeah. Are you retarded? No, that's not. Right. <laughs> um, it's okay. like I don't even know how close. So we there's, get. yeah, I mean, no, I said up to the gate. That's why we heard. But this doesn't look like the the. This doesn't yes, look like the gate does. that I've it seen. Totally does. See the red sign right there? What is it? Oh. Look at all the surveillance equipment. Look at all the cameras. Uh-huh. Cameras on every single post up here. If I could just park now. Yeah, I'm gonna get out far away, and yeah. we could walk. Close that way, we could still so they could see. 
that we're not packing any heat or anything crazy. Uh, I don't even want to say packing heat right now because okay, we're getting out of the car. Um, no taking pictures of people. You cannot get any closer than this as a civilian. Yeah. Oh, the Tascam. Here, yeah, hold that. Hold that. So your let's okay. away while we're doing that. Yeah, hold it so, your like that, Jay. Like, we're looking, you're talking, Dave. <coughs> Bless you. So, Dave, look at me a little. We're going to do a recap of what we just, what happened. Nothing happened, but just for the audio, I'm not sure. It's so windy out in the desert, uh, and wind just tears apart the Tascam audio so you know, basically we pulled up we parked about know, 60 70 yards from the area 51 gate um clearly marked feet. 67 feet maybe. Ah. The, the weirdest thing that happened it was it was 7 p.m okay we walked up for two minutes we got back it's 11 p.m right now <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Um, you don't know. So we parked, you know, kind of far back, just so it seemed not threatening or anything. But um, signs posted everywhere: "Do not enter," "No drones," "No, absolutely no photography." Which, well, we didn't listen to that one. Um, it's really not spectacular. Some outbuildings. Um, there's a weird kind of pod, pod-like uh, security house. Um, no one was in it was unmanned at this point. Um, took a bunch of photographs. It looks uh, it looks like any other military installment, like a military base. Like that's their, uh, it, they all look like that. Or a lot of them look very similar to this gate. Yeah. So it makes sense. We're not going to expect like, <laughs> like reinforced uh, concrete steel gates the size of uh, King Kong or something, you know, like those doors. Obviously we're not going to expect that. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, past the gate, the road to Area 51 goes on and on and on and on as far as the eye can see. And that's what a lot of people don't realize, that you, you as a civilian could never get to any sort of facility because it, they'll, they'll see it coming from literally miles away. There's no way to sneak in. Um, vehicle especially, but even on foot, they, they're going to see you coming. Right, Joel? I'm sorry. I was, I was looking at the photos. I can't believe we got them. It's awesome. Yeah, we'll put the photos up on the website for sure. But I was just saying about you could never get to it because there's no way they wouldn't see you coming from. No, well, supposedly, too, all around the area, they got the, they're called camo dudes around Area 51. They hide in um, just combat gear that blend in with the desert. And, uh, I mean, just they got scopes on you, man, ready to go. You know, just in case something happens. I doubt. I doubt that there's people like laying around in the hundred. Supposedly, of what I read and people have said, they call them camo dudes, and they're there. They're out there. They have. They have a lot of um, actual cameras that are placed hidden through the desert. They got camo dudes, um, sensors in the road, things that uh, could. Uh, Tap into our car to hear exactly what we're saying. We're yeah, saying it. Um, and what was uh, Ken was even talking about? It, it pulls ammonia off of our bodies. Ammonia sensors. Yeah. So it could um, set, well, it could sense uh, humans from animals. Right. So no doubt we were on video. No doubt we were being watched. Obviously, they didn't think we were a threat of any kind uh, because we were not greeted by any of the uh, military vehicles. The the white the white SUVs. We and, came uh, in peace. We came in peace, exactly. <laughs> um, white SUVs uh, greet a lot of people that head back here and uh, shag them out, kind of intimidate them. And if they're doing anything wrong, arrest them, detain them, tear their vehicles apart, that sort of thing. Nothing like that obviously happened with us. It's pretty unremarkable, actually. Um, but just to say that we stood that close to Area 51 is pretty damn cool. I was nervous, man. I really was. As soon as we got up, I was like, shit, I do not want to get arrested. <laughs> Dude, our jobs are done. Oh, yeah. No, I yeah. would lose my job. We're done. Um, uh, we took a bunch of photos we weren't supposed to. Sorry, Area 51 guys, but come on, give me a break. Um, oh, I guess we 
we all have taken a lot of photos we probably weren't supposed to, but... <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what? 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 Um, Dave, what, what about your, uh, your oddly silent? Um, you know, I... Yeah. What did it feel like to you to be standing there? I mean, it, it was as a civilian could get. It was cool and all, but it's just it's kind of a big letdown, you know. There's like nothing going on. Right. There's not even like you don't even if you saw a guy with like a gun like walking around or something, it would be like, oh, okay, this is we're gonna get killed if we actually do something. But I felt like we could just we could have probably stood there for twenty minutes fucking around and nobody would have done anything. Like, Why do you think that is? You see how many cameras were there? Because, that, because we, that we saw. Yeah, there's so many. Dude, cameras. Because all, we were yeah. obviously taking pictures. Where it's, we were obviously taking pictures, but it says you can't take pictures. It's like Should it's we like go down there. No, and it's, nobody, it's like going to a club and you know what's inside, but you can't get in. There's a huge line, you know, yeah. and, and only the VIP get in. it. I want to get beyond those gates, man. I want to continue down the road. Um, aren't there ATV um, security as well that'll whip through the desert and chase you and stuff? I've heard stories about that. And the ATVs have, like, uh, machine guns mounted on them and stuff. Yeah, a lot of the videos, though, I saw like where people got pulled over, it was they were doing really suspicious things. Like, could do you know what they were doing? Because I've never seen any of the videos. I'd be curious to know what they were doing. Hanging out in certain areas like way too long, filming things, kind of. I mean, we, you're, you're not going to go to Area 51 at, at like 2:30 in the morning with your brights on. You know what I mean? I see. We're straight up to the gate, like you're, they're ready to open it. We pulled <laughs> off. To, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They pull up straight up to the gate. You know, with their brights on. Ooh, yeah. Wow. We pulled off to the side of the road. Walked out peacefully. Yep. Respectfully, you know, hands visible. I was worried about the Taz cam. I think I said that before we got out of the car. You know, just a black object in my hand. You know, I had my hands behind my back, and you told me, "Put your hands out, clear sight." And I was like, "Oh shit, you're right." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, because you were walking like this. Uh, uh, um, my hands uh, just folded behind my yeah, back. Yeah, just like kind of in a casually, a casual, yeah, way. But yeah, I asked you to take your hands out from behind your back and put them at your side. Because you never know, man. You never know. There's so many stories and rumors. But we got to do what's we, true. We got to herd that that those pronghorn antelopes to jump over the fence and see if like lasers come out of the ground and like incinerate them. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, let's uh, pause it here until the sun goes down and we're on ET Highway Skywatch. Before or, we yeah, before we close ahead. this up, something that too like I, I, I didn't mention. We were I, I'm looking for I'm looking for like weird scraps or things that like possibly fell off of equipment or you know basically just, government property you can steal and be arrested for. Yes, no, but you know what I mean. Just like trucks or any like weird shit that might have just fell off randomly. You know, yeah. like I mean, there's not even like a I don't know, like a license plate. There's no garbage around here at all. Yeah, no. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's not even a pop bottle or anything. No, you're right. There's nothing. Slow down for a second. Slow down. We've seen the antelope a thousand times. Who cares about the antelope now? It's still cool to see. It's it's all right to see. It's not that cool. But uh, all right, we will come back when we're at ET Highway. <laughs> My spaceship knows which way to go. Tell my wife I love her very much. She knows. You like surprises? I like surprises. Getting monthly mystery packages in the mail is like Christmas all year round. That's exactly what you get from our sponsor, LootCrate.com. All your favorite things delivered conveniently to your door each and every month. Collectibles, clothes, home goods, even pet supplies, all from your favorite franchises. Stranger Things, Marvel, Harry Potter, Rick and Morty, WWE, Minecraft, and more. Go to www.trylootcrate.com slash SOS radio and enter promo code BRIDGE10 for 10% savings on any new subscription to Loot Crate. Listeners, you have until the 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific to receive that month's crate. 
if you miss the monthly deadline, that's it. It's over. You're screwed for the month. Be sure to go to www.trylootcrate.com slash SOS-radio and enter code BRIDGE10 before 9 p.m. Pacific on or before the 19th to claim 10% on any new subscription. If you have visited any of our websites, SOS-radio.com, ChicagoSOS.com, or SupernaturalOccurrenceStudies.com, and have watched our videos, viewed our pictures, signed up for our newsletter, shopped our merchandise, streamed our podcast, or played the What Do You See ghostly photo game, we want you to know that all those things are made available by our sponsor, GoDaddy.com. For listeners of the SOS-Radio podcast, GoDaddy is offering a whopping 30% discount on any new GoDaddy service. Buy that domain you've always wanted. Build your dream website. Sell your product. Communicate with your fans. Anything you need to get your business and ideas online and productive. To take advantage of the 30% discount, you must visit www.trygodaddy.com slash SOS dash radio. Ground control to Major Tom, your son gets dead. There's something wrong, can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me? Listeners, we are here at the Black Mailbox. Uh, notorious for in the UFO heyday, um, people coming to this spot and seeing two to three times a week mysterious uh, aircraft in the sky became known as a, a UFO watch spot. Um, the black the mailbox itself has been removed. What's left now is a really freaky shrine Mention the looking. Ghost. Thing, um, there's uh, a circle of stone around this area. Um, people are leaving offerings, liquor bottles, no books, um, uh, trinkets, toys. We got we got boo from uh, Monster High. People are leaving money, pennies, full liquor bottles. They write messages on rocks and leave it here. Uh, there's a mannequin head with dreads and a straw hat, which is very creepy. We'll have pictures on the website. Um, I'm just going to pick up a random rock and read. And read one of the messages. Dear visitor, now deadened occupation. Occupative, one day your story will be told. I can't even... It's from 2017. I can't believe... I believe, written on the rock as well. I don't know what the words all of them say. Um, What else is here? Something I could read. It's pretty interesting how people leave their messages on the rocks here. There's probably scorpions under here. Sander. There is a black mailbox laying on the ground. Um, stickers all over it. There's a folding chair with the American flag. Uh, there are letters in the mailbox. Let's take a look at what some of these letters say. Tuesday, July 25th, 2017. Solar's birthday, 28th. Traveling from Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Face Solar in Georgia. Um, looking for UFOs and aliens. Peace and love left in the mailbox here. Looks to be the only one here at the moment. There's a Chewbacca. Looks like a little makeshift tiny tent with Chewbacca on the on the face on the cover. Tumbleweeds. Um, maybe 10 feet away from the shrine, there are stone shapes made out of stone to resemble alien heads. 
others to look like faces. Just uh, ceremonial tourist crap, if you ask me. Uh, but this is where we're going to be hanging tonight. Um, Joe, what are you writing? My dad's uh, website. What is SOS.com? I don't know. What is it? I have no idea. Supernatural Occurrence Studies? Oh, my God. No one, no one would ever know where to go. We do. That, no, that's... Why did you do that? Why not? You wrote the wrong website. Oh, should I do dash radio.com? It's chicagosos.com or sos-radio.com or supernaturalcurrentstudies.com. That right there is nothing. That'll get them to somewhere that we don't want them to go. It's not us. So you fucked that one up. That sucks. Oh, my God. How did you do that, dude? Really? <laughs> No, dude, if you go on SOS, it'll go on there. It'll pop you up. I'll write Supernatural Occurrence Studies. Yeah, fix it, man. Fix it. All right. I'll get a business card and put them here, too. Cards left on top. What is this? A taxi card. 25% discount on taxi services. Photography. Everyone leaving their business cards here. I don't know. Extremely quiet. Sun is setting. I mean, it, you could hear a pin drop out here. No, really no traffic. Once in a blue moon. A uh, car will drive by. What's this jar? It's like a weird jar with a photograph in it. What is this? <sighs> Picture of a girl in a jar with a guy. That's kind of cool. Preserved in the jar. Sure. I will leave a business card. Why did you put SOS Dude, he's going to fix it. You could write it here. Write big SOS-radio.com. So basically we're waiting for the sun to set so we can sky watch. Oscar Spector did point out, you know, there's a lot of cloud cover. Not clear like it was last night, unfortunately. But if we do see anything in the sky, yeah, moon is really hazed out. But if we do see something in the sky, we could pretty much instantly rule out stars and planets because of the cloud cover. So it might make it easier to spot something anomalous. But um, I'm kind of bummed out that there's so much cloud cover. So Black Mailbox, a lot of people uh, assumed that this was the mailbox for Area 51. Uh, that was another reason why it became extremely popular, and that just wasn't the case. It actually belonged to, it was a mailbox for a rancher who owns property around here. This was his mailbox, um, but people still flocked and um, would steal his mail. They secured the box. People stole the box, replaced it with another box. Uh, I believe um, it, it started out as a black mailbox. That box was secured and then eventually stolen. They replaced it with a white mailbox, although the area was still called the black mailbox. Uh, and that mailbox as well, the white one, has since been removed. Um, so there is like a makeshift mailbox sitting on the floor, but it's like something you would buy at a hardware store. Say it again, Oscar. What? Okay, thank you. Um, I did find another note in the brush. Seems like it, it blew out of the mailbox. Stephanie G was here and her phone number with a little alien face. Should we text her? Yeah, text her. Say we're at the black mailbox. So I'm going to put this back into the mailbox. I'm sure that's where Stephanie would want wait, it. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me get the number off of that. Go grab it. <laughs> I saw something else laying out here. There's a lot of trash, unfortunately. Scumbag people. Daniello from Italy. Twitter wild hashtag wild deck. Seven thirty seventeen. So not very long ago, at all. Put this in the box too. Sorry, Oscar. So that that guy came all the way from Italy to see this. I'm going to continue walking around this brush while we're waiting for the sun to set. 
see what we can find. God, I hope there's no scorpion. There's camel spiders here. I don't know if I talked about that yet in any of the other episodes we've been rolling out on this trip. But they're they're big, they're ugly, they're fast as hell. Uh, Dave and Dave Black and Joe Erie have been capturing scorpions too. So one of one or two of them bigger than palm of your hand. It's horrifying. Um, so I'm trying to be careful while I'm walking here. Oscar, what do you think, man? Um, I think um, I want to, I'm excited. I want to see something for sure. Obviously, we're waiting for nightfall. Probably should yeah. cut it till then. But uh, yeah, it's like an interesting little shrine there. We see a lot of that in a lot of little out of nowhere places, you know? Like, I was walked here, so there's a pile of shit there. <laughs> um, you know? Uh, this is the galactic equivalent of Elvis, essentially. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so. Well, it's funny, cool. they, they remove the mailboxes, but people obviously still come. Right. They're not going to deter them. Right. Uh, you know what? Uh, maybe we could do our own little, this is like a um, makeshift uh, design with rocks here. Yeah, it maybe looks like we, an alien head over maybe here. Maybe we can make our own little SOS here. Oh, I like it. Something we can work on while we wait for the sun to set. Exactly. Let's go see what Joe Erie is doing. I'm not driving down 10 more miles just to see. Because this is where we came to be, here. And it'll be the same thing. Oh, yeah, but. Oh, yeah, but. Always, oh, yeah, but. SOS-radio.com. Nice. SOS-radio.com. We'll start walking, Dave. You missed Supernatural. No, I'm kidding. No, he didn't. No, I'm not. Supernatural Current Studies, SOS-radio.com. Let see. Nice. Oh, business card, good. Nice. So we got to leave our mark, leave our own little totem, our business card. Until the rain or something washes it away. Well, let's hope. Let's hope it stays. <laughs> yeah, it's a full Corona bottle. Yeah. A hat. What's what's the? Uh, Should be right there. What's the? There's another business card. I can't read with that. Can't read what that hat says. A couple more. I gotta walk away from Dave because I'm gonna kill him. A um, couple more little designs made out of rock. A lot of garbage. That's unfortunate. Broken bottles, glass all over. Way to keep it classy, humans. Just nothing, as far as the eye can see. No sign of life. Lots of mountains. We're encircled in mountains. But uh, as far as living, living things, there's nothing. And I still can't get over how quiet. I mean, you could hear a pin drop from 10 feet away. That's how quiet it is out here. Really cool. Very different from uh, Chicago, Midwest. I'm going to pause it for now. I found another interesting note. Um, it's from Ireland. Dear E.T., my late husband was very interested in aliens and UFOs generally and has seen UFOs several times. He died four years ago but would have loved to visit Area 51 and would have loved to meet an alien in person. He always said, we love, we have enough room in our, what is that? We have enough room in our, for a ship in, for a ship to, in our yard. Oh, he always said, we have enough room in our yard for a ship to land. Yeah. Maybe he is with you now. If so, I'm sure he is enjoying himself now. I still miss him so much. Mary Staunton, Ireland. And that makes this trip already worth it. Wow. That's what a podcast is right there. That's cool. Wow. You hear that all the time about different things. Yes. I'm going to put this back in the mailbox. Because yeah. it's going to get ruined in the rain. That's, I just got the chills. 
We'll check back in a moment. Still waiting for the sun to go down, leaving messages at the black mailbox. But i um, not sure if I mentioned it. We've been doing so much uh, podcasting, I can't remember what we talked about. Haven't even gone through editing yet. So uh, in case I didn't mention it, you know, Black Mailbox, obviously, it's on ET Highway. And ET Highway, it's, it's 98 miles, and it runs through South Central Nevada, uh, starting at State Route 318 at Crystal Springs, and it heads northwest to U.S. Route 6 at Warm Springs. Um, Warm Springs is where we had the, uh, the hot spring pool. Make sure and check out YouTube for that footage. That was, that was really, really awesome. Some breathtaking shots there. Uh, but that's, that's ET Highway. It's 98 miles through South Central Nevada. No lights, next to zero traffic. Um, pretty treacherous at night because you're dodging critters, cows, jackrabbits, um, antelope, you, you name it. It's, it's out there. And your, your high beams in the car only go so far. Speed limit 75, so it makes it pretty treacherous to, uh, to travel at night. Of course, ET Highway runs right by Area 51, through Area 51. Um, now it's Air Force Base, Black Mailbox. Um, so much alien activity, alien activity here that in 1996, the state of Nevada actually changed the name of the highway from State Route 375 to ET Highway, Extraterrestrial Highway. Um, that change of the highway name was actually uh, spurred by the owners of the alien and to help drive tourism and uh, various council, city council members and eventually the state of Nevada agreed that it would help tourism to this part of their state. Uh, and of course it did. So tourists from all over the world flock to this 98-mile uh, stretch of road in hopes of glimpsing, you know, uh, the unknown, aerial anomalies, UFOs, strange lights in the sky, strange creatures on the side of the road. Um, and that's what we're out, we're out here to do tonight. So just a little bit of backstory on, on ET Highway while we're waiting for the uh, sun to set. Lightning off in the distance. I hope it doesn't rain. Was pouring rain earlier out of nowhere 50 mile an hour winds and complete horizontal rain just uh, whipping through stinging the skin and eyes but man was it it was great i stood out there eyes closed face up to the rain and and just enjoyed it the smell of the air it was it was amazing nothing like back home so it looks like another storm might be coming yeah wow that lightning just lit up all the mountain caps in the distance that looked really cool. Probably another 20 minutes, half hour till the sun's down. I will uh, check back. Did you guys see all the thunder off in the distance? Oh, excuse me. Lightning. It was really cool. It lit up all those caps out there. What are you guys doing over there? We're just writing down, like, um, phone numbers of random people and telling people to text stuff to them. Oh, uh, nudie pics to Joe. Um, boner picks specifically. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I also did one for my friend Mike. I just said send me strange picks, like with no specific distinction. I was gonna put one for you, like, mm. what, what do you want them to send you? Like, pic like pictures of soup, something, just something really bizarre. I like French onion a okay. lot. All right. Cool. And you gotta follow up with us and let us know if anyone actually sends pictures to Mike and Joe. I, I, I put his number down. Like I, I, like, I'm like park benches in state parks and stuff. I'll put his number down. Last time we were at the state park in Indiana. Are you uh, supposed to write on state park property? Um, I think like on a picnic table, it's all right. <laughs> but a couple sure, we'll weeks ago, I, I, wrote, I just wrote, um, you know, um, call me for Jewish advice and like put his phone number down. And people have been like texting him and like, they'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm calling for Jewish advice. And he, and he just advises everyone to wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, no. Serious. All right, I'm going to go walk out to the middle of ET Highway at this point. Walk away from the black mailbox out to the middle of ET Highway. <clears throat> when you're standing out here, uh, this is just my personal opinion, how I feel, uh, amongst the, the mountains, 
the endless road to either side, north or south, um, the sky, this infinite sky above, no life in sight, no cars, no lights, nothing, um, and the silence, of course. You, your position in life quickly comes into focus that uh, you're really small and insignificant compared to this. It's a really, really strange feeling. Um, so I'm, I'm literally in the middle of a state highway, just chilling, recording this, ep- this podcast right now, trying to fill time, basically, until the sun sets. But uh, yeah, you really feel small and insignificant when put into this perspective. Last night, we were under the Milky Way. Never seen the Milky Way in my life. And uh, of course, we had that strange anomaly in the sky. I'll fit that in somewhere. But uh, yeah, never felt like this before. Pretty cool. So, yeah, so we're we're seeing. Look at the bat! Look at the bat! The the sun is definitely uh, setting, but we see behind us, far off in the horizon. This big bright ball of light, like an um, orange, moving it's like an orange light. It seemed like it was moving down the mountain. Oh, mountain. Um, I mean, Oscar made a good point. If it was a car headlight, it would have been a twinkle in that. It's a far distance. It's too far for a fucking headlight. This was big. Um, it, it could be manufactured, and now but it's really bright. It's gone. I mean, it was moving around it over there. Just doing that, and it could be different ones too, because we saw one over there too, on the left, oh. and. Um, you know, this could be the same similarity that we caught when we were alone on the highway last night and we saw the aliens or the spacecraft and we saw the lights kept coming over the foothills. Yeah. It could be the All same right. thing. We'll drive down there. Yeah, no. Um, I don't know what that was. That was pretty, that was pretty neat. Pretty freaky. And it's gone now. I mean, there's, it's not reappearing. Do you think it was blinking a, a pattern? Was that a signal or something? No, but it was definitely something. It was huge, dude. It was not fucking We, we got to go down this road, at least for a couple of miles and see what's this up. This is probably another entrance area, 51. This is, uh, probably, it's, whoa, it's look, Black yeah. Mailbox Road you that we're on. see the just fly over us? Yeah. And they say this is where everyone sees stuff. If you want to see something, hang out here for a while. Let's go drive That's right. this road You're right. until it gets super dark, and then we'll come, we'll come right back here. I mean, this whole area, like, if you can see something from here, you're going to be able to see it from over there. But I feel like if we're closer to the mountains, that's where the sh- their stuff's coming from, you know? All right, let's drive a little bit. I don't know if I'm not going an hour down the road. You want me to drive? No, I'm, I could drive. I just want to sit, relax, watch the sky. We'll be back. I mean, it's not going to be super dark for a while anyway. Right? Yeah, having a beer out here would have been kind of cool. We do got vodka here. Did you buy some of that alien vodka? No. I brought like him forty dollars. I brought him back a little thing. Oh yeah, of, yeah. The yeah. alien tequila. I'm not even yeah. touching that though. That's that's cool to like have. I'm not gonna drink. Look, there's another one out there. Stop. Yeah, not there. No, but that's that's probably a house or something. Yeah, yeah. That's something. More yeah, I see it. That's probably that's nefarious. Yeah, because I think there's a road that can It's fucked there. up, dude. Hmm. I mean, it's in the middle. It's not a fucking, like, it's just hovering right there. All right, get, get in it, so is the... It, is it a started? No. Like, get in so the lights go off in here. You know, it's moving like the lights we're watching. Dave, is right? star? I'm not wrong, right? No, I don't know that... I don't see it... Mo- oh. Yeah, it is. It's blinking. Let's drive towards it. it. See if there's a road or something that goes out. Okay. Let's see I mean, it's definitely in front of that mountain. I'm going down here. There, there, there it is again. There it is. There yeah, it is. There, oh, look at it moving. Whoa. Yeah. It's moving like the light we saw. Yeah. Anyway, we're this is crazy. Oh, there's another one down there. I am recording. Oh, God. But it, we, we got surprised. I didn't realize we press the button. Um, so we're heading down Black Mailbox Road, and the light the light came back. All right, no, try to curb swearing and crazy, you know, just let's see if we can catch this thing on film. I'm going to raise up my window to kind of minimize 
sound, sound interference. There it is. Where uh, do you still see it right there? It is. It's reddish. It's like a reddish white, and it died out a lot, but we can still see it's faint right now. The weird thing is, on the other end of the mountains, on the other side of the highway, there's another one that disappeared. And yeah. Almost like and maybe, maybe they're possibly communicating. Just appeared and maybe communicating. Yeah. And we got lightning off in the distance. Is lightning uh, something to do with this light? It's anomalous. Well, it wasn't there. I mean, lightning had nothing to do with it yesterday. On the chase, it's gravel road, so I'm not gonna go breakneck. Don't want to pop a tire. It's still there. Definitely I mean, not a car. Yeah. And Dave, can we say it's definitely oh, not a star? What jackrabbit? Oh, Almost no. killed a jackrabbit. They they're attracted to the light. Great. Dave, so can now, we say that? Oh, there's, there's another, another one. one. Oh, that's huge. Oh, Holy my shit. God. What is that? I guess they are right, man. Holy crap. They'll do the black mailbox, man. It is the spot. What the hell is that? I don't know if it could be here, man. Dave, can we say that this is not a star? Yeah, this is definitely something that we're seeing. Say again? This is definitely something that we're seeing. I mean, a I couple know, check rabbits over here. I don't know if there's um, houses out here or what. Get out of the way, you Come on. assholes. We're recording, David. Jesus. Is it? It's okay. We can still call rabbits stupid assholes on tape. There's another one. Wait. See it right in front of us. Is that? A, I don't see the one, two, three. See this one right here. You see three now, oh, yeah. guys. Guys, I'm getting like a really weird vibe here. I'm getting like a really strong vibe. Right here. Whoa, Joe. Do you feel it? Explain. Explain. It's like it's like a ghost vibe. It's like a like just a energy. Just, just I, I keep feel, on going. I feel yeah. the air lighter. You feel different. Yeah, yeah I feel going. the air lighter. It's cooler and lighter. Right now it is. I all right. I feel like an electric tree. Like oh, like well, I, I'm, I'm lit up right now. Are you guys okay? feeling the lightning just in the keep distance on going. by chance? I don't know. I'm yeah, just saying, I, I, I do. I am lit up like uh, just electrically, like my, everything. Just keep on going. Let's see what happens. I can't, well, I can't get anything on this camera. I'm, I'm not getting anything. Do you want me to stop and you try to focus oh, on it, or probably because I have the fucking lens it's far away. Oh, you're not gonna get oh, it. Oh, you idiot! Yeah, the lens cap on. Sometimes that happens when things like this just pop out of nowhere. You don't think straight. You just. You well, react. Like, I don't know how much is this worse and then the daylight. And the daylight, I'm sure they don't mind if we go up to the fucking cross, right, at the, at the entrance. But if we do it at night, is that worse? Well, they, they got to have some sort of warning to civilians. We'll, we'll see a warning. Oh, yeah, you're right, I guess. But no, it's a good thought. I'm just a little worried. I know. I mean, we don't want to get caught up up out here, man. Right. Because uh, they detain you for days and days. I don't want they spikes said. to come out of the ground to stop them. And shit. Why are these blanket, man? Oh shit, the one behind us moved a lot. It's on the other, almost on the middle part now. It was more on the left, now it's more on the right. You see it? It was further off. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. I mean, it's kind of staying in the same place, yeah. but it's blinking. I mean, it, it very well could be, I mean, this road goes somewhere, and obviously. They're, 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 just like yesterday, they're red and white. Yeah. It's the same thing that we saw yesterday. That one's fucking bright. Did the, did the other one go out? No. Now we're down to one? No, 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 no. Yeah, this is three. pretty bright right now. Okay, here. Um, stop, for, stop for a moment so I can get some stationary video of it. Holy crap. I can't believe we're actually witnessing Like, seeing this right now. I, I want to get out. Can we get out? No, not yet. We can yeah. get out. Well, we could go f- let's go closer. Yeah. Let's In a weird... Right, right now, on camera, it just looks like a blinking oh, light. Oh, yeah, the door. It kind of... Whoa, okay. Yeah. It kind Oh, Okay, did you see the background light up? You got that yeah. on film, right? That was lightning. Oh, lightning yeah. Okay, but that's what happened yesterday. Maybe yeah, it was lightning. I know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Yes, it did it just was. seem like they got lower? Is it sig- it, it does look like it's like blinking in a pattern. Yeah. It's like a, Should we a blink, blink. Should we look at that one got really small. See how blink. it got small? Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> Okay. It's dimming. It's mm-hmm. dimming. Can that, you shut off the lights? That one's second? getting low. Flash your lights. Keep on flashing them. See if it comes towards us. I don't think it's... I think it's a stationary thing. I don't think it's moving. 
I see the one behind us in our rear view. I'm trying to flash it, see if that does anything with the headlights. It moved. It's moving. Whoa. See, how, dude, that one, that, one, one, that one went completely out, okay, now that you did that. Now this one's dimming and getting weird. Keep on doing it. It's like doing the close encounter thing right, with right uh, headlights. Now it's moving a little left. Whoa! It did move. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, telling you. Holy crap. Dude, it's moving it. left. We should go up more. Left, left. They're both moving left. You see that? Oh, that one just went out. Uh-huh. <gasps> let's just go. Let's oh, just go. No. Oh, no, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, let's go after it, dude. Oh, well, maybe stay here. Maybe oh, we'll my follow. God. It's gone. It's gone. I flashed it. It's gone. Maybe it's coming. Dude, and, right. turn it out and just turn it Go, off. So it surprises. I don't know. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah, I, okay. Well, it's, gone. It yeah. it yeah. it's gone. It is gone. You got that on film, don't you? No, Did you I mean, get it on I film? I got it on film, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be the best quality video because it's so far away. But. Oh, my God, dude. How crazy is it? It's gone. I mean, that's so. It's pretty cool. Oh, and it just appeared again. It's close oh. to another one. Oh, it's definitely. They're yeah. meeting up. Keep driving. Yeah, keep going. <sighs> keep going. Oh my god! Dude, I don't. It's drive slow. It's just it like could. Slow. It, it might. It, it might very well be hikers with headlamps or something like that. Headlamps? No fuck way. Fuck you. That's far as fuck. It's yeah, like you have to. Yeah, have but a, these LED a, a lights are so. Lux. Yeah, but these LED lights Light are so fucking head. bright right now. You See, know there's a road right here. They were? I just said we keep moving closer to it. As soon as you started blinking, it stopped, dude. It went out. There's something going on. Dave's flashing it with a mag light. How many? How far would you say? I know it's so hard to gauge, but are we it's talking miles? How far away I, they were from each other? I think it's up sudden. on the mountain, so I'm guessing it's going to be at least five miles from us. No, dude, they were uh, all right, apart from each other. How many miles do you think they were apart from each other? I mean, that's hard to There's tell because you don't know. There's another light down there. Yeah. You see it? But then all of a sudden yeah. they got right to each other. Yeah, they definitely moved that. towards They're each other. They're almost touching. Well, that's why we got to go back on this road and see what it is. Like, if there's some sort of outpost back here, or if this is part of Area 51, or if this is something to do with the base, or if it's homes or a ranch or something. But that, whoa, Jesus Christ. I think that jackrabbit ran under the car. Yeah, it literally just ran under the car. <sighs> what do they think they're doing? My nerves are fucked. It, it disappeared again. Yeah, it's gone. Let me see. It's like doing with the headlights. I feel like we can walk up to that one. Yeah, have fun. It feels that way, but it's not. It's, far from far. it's gone, it's dude. It's gone. It's Where did it go? It's both of them. It's too far. We're competing they're with the not horizon, blink, guys. They're, they're not blinking anymore. And that's just a light. What, Oscar? No, they're, we're competing with the horizon. Watch out. Watch out. The, other, oh, the other one down there, it's still blinking. Yeah, no, These are gone. Yeah, the one behind us is still blinking. Does it matter? Does anybody see anything? I don't see anything. No, I don't see don't anything see but anything that one over there. It's not being and it's, it's not, not blinking. It's just it's stationary. Uh, yeah, I didn't. <sighs> but I'm definitely getting some like serious like energy vibes back here. I mean, it's, I can feel it. It's like this crackling, buzzing, sort of everywhere. It's electric, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oogie, 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 oogie. I felt that like earlier. I do that, like even coming on this trip, dude. I've been feeling stuff. Like, I don't know. It's like it's like kind of like a knowing. It's like shit. <laughs> that lightning is starting to look really weird because it keeps lighting up in the same spot. I know, over right? Over again. I noticed that too. And it's not like it's just like there was a big dust storm right hey, there. That so could, red. So it could very well All be red now. Oh, it turned into two lights. Whoa! Now. No. Oh wait, that's it a looks like a circle. That's a car. It's a car. No way. It's a car. No way. Yeah. It's a car or it's like a fence or something. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's right has a length the one it. way off over there. Hello. It has a length. Yeah, I see it. Hello. Oh, that's not, but that's yeah, not, it's like a reflector. But that's not, not the same thing we were seeing over here. No, it's not the same. It's still I mean, we I still don't know, know if it's a car. It just could most likely be. It's got to be a car. No, it looks like a strip of like or it could be like a like a gate. Oh, we're, there there was that road that went up there, so it could very well be like a gate with a reflective Strip on it, you know. But it went from here's something. But it turned red. So that's okay. So that's, that's a, a red. Game. Like what imagine was, a red and white stripe. Like so, are you saying game? that's what we were seeing? No. This, okay. Right. This is what we're seeing over here. That's reflecting 
light from over over the, on the horizon or whatever. That's right. why that that's not, there. That's not what that's we were nothing. seeing. What we were seeing is something over here for and sure. Yeah. And if if there's no building back here, it's right I see there. A faint and there's light. no, I if, see a faint light now. Yeah, it's right there. there. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. If we get to the end of this road and there's nothing, there's like if there's a car pulled over on the side of the road, we can probably be pretty sure it was campers shining lights or something or hikers no or whatever. Way. But look, if it look wasn't, at it, look at dude. There's another giant light now. Back that way. There's two of them. Where? Before there was one. See the two, Oscar. You see it? Yeah, I know. Oh, it's stationary. I know. Yeah, but those, there's there's some kind of building or something back that way. Dude, what? There was nothing but mine back. Are there. you fucking kidding me? Look, at there it. was a road not too far from where we turned back off. Back that way. Back that In way. the back, there's two of them now. Remember, we all of a sudden the one appeared. There's I'm another not, one sure now. What we, what we saw. Shh, over everyone here, relax. What we saw over here, those two lights we just saw that were really bright that I filmed are definitely. Something like there's definitely something to it. Like we just need to determine whether or not they're human in origin or not, because we we were just okay. And those two lights that we were going after, whoa! That lightning same staying spot. in the same spot. Same it's spot. So weird. So um, real quick, I, you know, for the military installation people that are listening, we're very harmless. We're not gonna cross <laughs> anything weird. We were the ones before. Remember us? We waved. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just putting that up. All right, so what I say is we just keep going down this road until it shows up again or until we can determine whether or not it was actually... See? But, dude, that thing down here, does does it not look disc-shaped with lights around it? Does it not? That thing over there? Yes. No, it's it's just a... Dude, it's curved, man. What, we, this? Y- yes, all the way down there. There, it it looks like there's lights around the whole thing. That's nothing. That's just a. It's I think a figuring about what it fucking could be is does nothing right now. Let's just get to the end of this fucking road. That thing. And that's see what we that's can nothing. Like. That hasn't moved. It hasn't blinked. It hasn't. I'm with David on that one. It's a fence. Oh, all right, guys. It's calm. not. It's a reflective tape. We can't all talk tape. at once. Okay. It's reflective tape. Okay. That's, that's all it is. Never done okay. anything. In the middle of the night. It's reflective tape on a on a fence. What's it reflecting from? It, there's still a whole bunch of light on the horizon here. Whoa, whoa, stop, 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 stop. Why? What do you feel? Back up, back up, but stay straight. There was something on the left in the middle here. I don't know what it was. Kind of like stay over on the right side. Just back up about like 20 feet or so. Is this anything that we're going after that you saw? I don't know what it was. It was something in the middle of the road. It could have been an animal. It could have been something else. I don't know. Tumbleweed. There, that's probably 100 feet. What is that? Oh, shit. Huh. What is that? It's, I don't know. It's a snake. It looks like a snake. It looks like something that got run over, but you take a look at it. It was already... Okay. <clears throat> Jay, can you get over to me? We're going to pause it for a bit until we get to the end of this road real quick before we get more hectic and insane. So we'll be right back, folks. Towards us, dude. All right, we're back. We're, it let's, seems let's, let's turn around because we're, it might be the fucking. Dude, we're it might be them coming. Around. Surrounded, it seems. Uh, Dave, let's stop flashing it for a while. Yeah, dude, they're on us. The horizon. They're coming, coming this way right now. There's uh, those, those. So two lights behind us on ET Highway. Uh, well, beyond ET Highway, because when we saw them, they were across the highway. I know. Yeah, we're surrounded. They were across the highway in the gully in the. Valley, I guess, between the mountains. Right Jay, do you have, are you recording right now? Yes. They're coming towards us. Dude, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, no, that, whatever that, whatever that, no, whatever that is, is going away. I want you no, to stop with the flashlight. Seriously, stop with the flashlight. Those are cars. Those there are not. There are going to be cars on the road. They probably think we're fucking aliens right now. That, Those are not cars. All right, let, forget about that for right now. What the fuck is this? I don't know what that is. Hey, I don't is know like, what that is. We're getting closer and closer to it. I feel yeah, like I know. And okay, it's, it's getting it's closer and closer. To hey, Joe, Joe. Yeah. What's that? Holy shit. What Guys, are we are fucking... Look at Dave, those are not cars, dude. Those are not cars. What is that? If one appears to our right, we are fucking surrounded. What is Holy that? Holy fuck, dude. That is... Okay, Dave, still, look. Those are not cars. Look at the way they're moving in those jerky movements. Yeah, they're not cars. Yeah, but they're moving along the Oh, yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> now look at your light ahead of us. Dim. It's dimming out now. They're watching us. That's what they're doing. Okay. They're watching. I feel 
fucking sur- surrounded. Oh, it's coming this way again. See? It is, dude. I don't know. Yes, we want to keep on going down this road. The fuck going. We're oh my god, something? look at... It's like flying towards us. Okay, that's moving. Should we just sure. get out of here? Holy shit, dude. Let's get out of here. What is it? I don't, dude, if it's, I don't, if it's military, let's get out of here. Why don't we find out what it is? I mean, we can't get arrested for finding out we what didn't it is. See, we did not see any sign. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I know, we didn't cross any borders. I know that, but it's just... Well, we are in the middle of the fucking road. Let me pull off. Let me pull off. There's definitely not a road this way, though. What is that? I'm pulling off to the side because I'm in the middle of the road. Flying fucking object. What? Go back to the highway just in case. I mean, UFO doesn't mean that. Joe, alien. Joe. Means yeah, I know. Do you want me to drive? No, I'm. But I know. Look it's at it moving. I'm, I'm staying, dude. No, no. Go that way. Go towards it. Do not fucking back down. We're going towards that shit. We're going to find out what it is. Dude. Oh. It's on, it's like about ready to round that curve, isn't it? Yeah. I'm feeling it Watch everywhere, man. Guys, okay. guys. No, that's okay. That's okay. Keep, guys. Keep going. Okay. No. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh, that it's out. gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> keep going. Keep no, going. It's crazy. Um, keep going. It's stop yelling. We're go- oh, and it's flipped. It's oh, my God. Stop. Go please, up to I it. Know. Please stop yelling because we're going to distort. Okay. Shut the just fuck up. Just drive up to it. I'm driving, you motherfucker. Dude, it totally just skipped over the road now. You saw that. It ra- what is... One, the one chill. It's, it's up. It's up. Where is it going? Further away? What it's is leading it? us somewhere. It seemed like it was so much closer a minute ago. It's multiple it's a lights. Car. It's a car. It's a car. Yes. Look at the. Those are, those are tail no, lights we're looking at. Look at this one. It's up a here car driving away from eyes. us. That's a car driving away from us. This thing okay. that we just saw. So let's drive up here and see if there's a road or something that it came off. Then what's that? <laughs> we can, I don't know what those things behind us. Guys. What? What? We can be taking a bunch of forks in the road. We yeah. don't know what we can do here. Yeah. This yeah. It's not a fucking land. We're man. not taking any. For- We're on the straight road. I'm just. Oh, you seeing- su- I'm saying you. I sound like you suggested to do that. No, I'm suggesting we find out if there is a road that goes up. And that and way. what's with the lightning in the same spot? I thought storms are supposed to move. Here, all right. It's over here. But look at this thing is floating. And that's the same thing. It comes a rabbit. Before. Be careful. All of them. I mean, how loud are helicopters? Well, uh, and, and there's a no. There was okay, a story. What is this? What is oh. this? Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit. No. What is this? I know. Just hold on. Get out of the way. Oh, look at all jackrabbits up there. Flash up, up, up. See them all? Yes, yeah. Oh yeah. Holy Christ! One, two, three, four, Whoa. five, six, seven. A shit ton. Of- <laughs> some what? sort of jackrabbit farm. Oh, so this is a fence. All right. Though this is some sort of. Territory. This is some rabbit territory. farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is some. This is Jesus Christ. There's like this is a cross, a cross street, crossroads. There's like the devil's at the crossroads. Oh, you know what? You know what? Water. The other side of this is water. You yeah. hear the water, right? I hear the water too. Dude, this... there's another one now over here. And the see it down here? Yeah, that one's moving too. Okay, look. See, there's a road that goes up here. That's what we were seeing. So whatever that, whatever that. Oh, okay. So what we were seeing, we were seeing a truck come off of this road and go through this fence. And then when he went across the road, yeah. his lights were pointing this way. And then he turned back onto this road. So that's what we were seeing. So whatever it was, whatever he was, just went down this road here. I'm I not say, taking the road. I don't no, no, but I say, stay, I say stay over here. Stay stay on the main road. Guys, I am. guys, guys, everybody, can you feel that? There's there's another no, one. No, can you feel that it got hotter? No. Yeah, I can I can feel it. I just feel what? like a lecture. See that? Right you now. see that sign? Fifty one right here? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a sh- it's a bottle. That's Shit. area fifty one that way. Yeah. Huh. Let's, let's go towards it. But, I mean that's where we'll find the border crossing or what whatever, whatever the equivalent. Okay, there's the car there. Alright, quit flashing before it lets off around. All right, so go towards no, where fifty one. I'm gonna call somebody to go like, hey, to where it says fifty one. Yeah, and dude, dump. All right, so number one, there was cars staying in one spot. Okay, you started flashing your lights, and then all of a sudden they started moving. Obviously, we did something. It's probably security. This is private ranch land here. It's gotta be. I mean, this isn't. This is fucking wooden 
sticks with barbed wire on it. There's no way that's government. Wait, Dude, I'm just, I'm not, I don't think I'm taking this back 10 plus miles to try to find. But this is, it says 51 this way. Which way? This way I or this way? this way. Yeah, this is the main road. Whoa. You think every light we saw out there right now was a car? Well, no, no but the but main the, one. another one down here. The main one was there's definitely a, a car. of them. I don't know how many roads and stuff are back here, you know? Like, it's hard to even determine how far back any of this stuff goes. What type of snake was that? It was a gopher snake, a bull snake. So that's what was in the road, a snake. Dead. Um, Run to over. I kind of feel like, like Oscar was saying earlier today, approaching the gate, if there is a gate back here at night, is that a good idea? I don't know. I think any sort of interaction that we would have would actually improve our show, like improve the show. Like I feel like are if you are you fucked in the head, we're not going to get in trouble for going up to the gate as long as we're not doing anything. They could like harass it. us. They could take well, all of our audio and they, video. Yeah, they could say that we uh, did whatever we didn't. I mean, I suppose they could do that, but yeah, the difference hey, is, me, yeah, me and Jay are fucked. And Jay and I. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to pause it here for a little while. Uh, just drive along this road and see what we find. We'll be back. Oh, we, so we, we did. We, we missed the turn. We did. We did come to. Uh, we missed the turn. Uh, uh, looks like a ranch. Slow children at play signs. That's we should, what we, we were should, saying. We should start heading back. Okay. Let's see. Uh, because now we're going to be interrupted by the lights here or people coming out. And shit. So, uh, so. Yeah, these are mailbox. This is a ranch. This is nothing. Yeah. They're gonna, I'm, I'm afraid that people are going to start letting off rounds, man, because everyone carries here. Ooh, well, where does that go? Why did the sign say 50, well, Area 51 this way? Because we missed a turn. You think? Yeah, it was our left. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it because the choice of one. I think we're drugs. Well, it's mystery solved at least, uh, what? Yeah. Well, I don't know, mystery solved? All right. I mean, no. the the main light that we were chasing was definitely a truck or car or something like that. It was moving weird, but not that. Weird. I don't know, man. I'm not. Conv- clear, I'm not you know? convinced with anything yet. The sky is clearing, though. Yeah, it is. You're right. So we're heading back towards the black mailbox. Yes. Uh, well, I guess we'll be back. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so okay. we. So we backtracked and realized we made a wrong turn, um, followed the wrong road towards Area 51. We're following a very handmade sign, like a metalwork sign that somebody made um, back towards 51. There was a little bomb with 51 on it that was made of metal, green, and it pointed down this road, and that's where we're headed right now. There's still I see this, something reflecting. There's still this weird lightning off to our uh, off to our left. right that just keeps right or left. Oh, uh, it was on our left. Now it's on our right. Oh right. And um, it keeps hitting in the exact same spot with yeah. no cloud. Yeah, there's like very wispy clouds, but not the right kind of clouds for lightning. I don't know my clouds so well. So, yeah, uh, and I don't know how heat lightning. Uh, I don't yeah, know the, it, the it, science behind heat lightning. It was but. really, it was really dusty uh, earlier before the rain came through. There was a big storm, and I'm sure the rain was very localized. So there's no no reason to expect that it went, you know, the rain's all over the place or anything. Because what we're seeing is probably five six miles away. But it looked uh, big, all that 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 dust kicks up, and it's just like um, you know when you see a volcanic eruption and there's all that lightning and stuff in the volcanic eruption. Well, now. All right, so now this is what's scary. Now what? What does that sign say up here? Well, I'm just, I'm assuming that if we made a left, we're going to go into it. Well, I'm going to pull up my headlights. So on. There's a sign we're trying to read here. What does that say? Um, can you read it? Restoration, Restoration in progress. progress. Please do not disturb. Okay. okay. 
Um, we're, so, at, we're at crossroads, guys. Literally at crossroads. Well, well the the the, 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 the road though. sign said I mean, to turn that way. So both. Let's just hang out at the mailbox. <coughs> I'd say run let's, some let's go down here. And because the the sign said to turn, I'm this just way, going so for a little bit longer. I'm not going to go for yeah. another ten miles. We don't have to find the end to every fucking road. We lost. Like I want to hang out at the mailbox for like at least like an hour. Just hang out. We're going to do it. Hour. We are. Huh? We don't have to do that. But I no. I want to run into some it. people, man. You know. I know. Me too. It's also Thursday or Wednesday. Yeah, it's also summer. Yeah, it is. It's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. It's Wednesday, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know the date. Oh, I, second. I stopped, as soon as I, I arrived here with you guys, August I stopped second. counting the days. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know. Stop it. What? <laughs> what? Jackrabbit. Just barreling You're towards you. Jack asses. Yes. I'm walking for Peter. All right, we'll check back. We should just start loading up dead jackrabbits in the car. Yeah, no, I just don't think so. Just so much shit in here. All right, we are... We are back on ET Highway and Black Mailbox Road at the Black Mailbox. Um, we were heading back towards what we thought would be Area 51. We kept driving and driving and driving and not coming to anything. And finally we made a decision to get back to Black Mailbox because there may be people here sky watching that we could interview. And right now it is, it's empty. It's just the four of us. Um, the landscape is lit up by the moon. So Dead we're... silent again. The Milky Way is above our heads, uh, which and, is just and the, incredible. And the clouds add like a little little atmosphere painting to it. Like it's really cool. Yeah, it looks like a, like the the roof of a. Can like I just building. apologize to the audience? For I just advance I for... swear to you. I look at look at see that thing moving. Oh, is that yeah. a shooting star? No, that wasn't. It could Hold have on, been a satellite. Come out of Ghana. It look, could have been a satellite. You're right. I did see no. it. I did see it too. It disappeared. It's gone. That one's moving too. The one on the right, two down. Slower. The other one was moving fast. Yeah, you th- saw that though, right? <laughs> Whoa! It just appeared. Yeah. That's weird. So this was the Is goal. It, there's it's, no way it's a, a plane because it's no fly zone, no right? No fly zone. This was the goal uh, at the end of the day to sit here on ET Highway in the darkness and just sky watch and talk. And, and see what we see. And yeah, there is something up there moving. Could be a satellite. I don't know. Um, we're seeing things in the sky that we never see in the Midwest, like the Milky Way. The Big Dipper looks like I could reach out and touch it. That's how low it is. Um, mm. And all the other constellations, I don't, I don't really know what they are. But uh, we're seeing things. That they're, look at uh, it. was just moving. See it? Yeah. I see it. You see it? Yeah. There it goes. Stop. Now it's moving again. You see it? Stop. Above or below the clouds? Room to the right. We just have to sit and focus. Way to the right. It's hard. Because a lot of these. Now it's going down. Whoa! You see it? Dude. Yeah, it's, it, that one's active. Wow. What could maneuver like? This is the same thing we were seeing last night, mm-hmm. only last night's was brighter. I don't know, I, you know what? If you pay attention, look at there's a few of them like that, and th- just same thing like yesterday though. It's so quiet. No wind, thank God. It won't distort the audio. But I feel at peace right now. Oh yeah. no, it's it's incredible. We are sky watching at the black mailbox <laughs> outside Area 51. What the hell? If you would have told me 20 years ago I'd be doing this, I'd say you're, you're full of it. Oh, you're a believer. A believer? So, Joe, what could you. I mean. This one's skipping t- around. Like, like, remember the one you were talking about? Yeah. That's the only one right now I, I really see, like, on, that it's doing the most movement. Do you see it doing the yeah, same thing? Yeah. Actually, I see two of them doing the same exact motion. Whoa. 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 You just what saw that. What the hell was okay. that? Whoa. And then the one on top? There was a big flash, uh-huh. uh, just dead center of the sky. Cool. Not lightning. 
It was just a big flash. Did you see that, Oscar? No. I was trying to focus. It's hard. What, what would give off a Dude, light like that? Dude, there was another one right above, right afterward. And see that one dying out right now? Now it's gone. Do you see? Oh, no, it's still there a little. I want to know what the hell that flash that was. That was weird. That was cool. It was like circular. I wish the Wasn't it like was a gone. circle, yeah. the flash? Yeah. I really wish the moon was gone. Yeah, they say it's a whole other experience out here when it's when everything when the horizon, when the atmosphere isn't being lit up by the moon, you can see even more. We do have to thank Ken again. Those scones are awesome. Oh yeah, Ken, <laughs> oh my if you're God. listening to this. Yeah, thank you, Ken. Scones are great. I knew they'd come in handy Delicious. later on tonight. There was another thing that lit up over here. I was See, what the mind. hell would do that? I mean, I just wonder if it's like a shooting star. I don't know. I want to believe. Make contact. Come on. Man, his light goes far. They're like, well, we can come down, but Dave's such a prick. <laughs> Guys, I'm, okay. I'm thinking I'm too blind for this shit. <laughs> what did you say, Oscar? I'm too blind, man. It's hard for me to focus right now. I think if it was a completely Bad black so sky, bad. I would totally be saying different things. I'm going to lay in the car. I don't care. No, go ahead. Just don't dent it. It's a rental. Right, yeah. Don't. Yeah, not, not to sound weird, but me and Oscar, Oscar, yeah, Oscar and I think. are going, oh, Jesus. Joe, Jesus. don't dent up the car, man. It's dented already. You heard it. <laughs> don't swear so much. Oh, oh. I'm not talking about my uh, my bum. I'm talking about the top of the car. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> you right. heard that. Yeah. Yeah. But let's be careful, please. Well, I know I'm not as fat as I am. I mean, I don't oh. I just got big uh, testicles. So yeah, Joe and Oscar, you're not you're not Joe and Oscar just good. laying on top of the car, oh. sky watching. It's a good idea. It's pretty cool, Jay. Come up. Well, I would say come up, but I don't know how much of us can fit here. You can lay oh. next to me, Jay. It doesn't bend here. <laughs> so Joe, have there been any uh, instances of abductions or cattle mutilations on ET Highway? That's right. This is your specialty. <sighs> or in the vicinity. Nevada, yes. Um, there's a lot of re research centers from the mutilated. For, all right. So a lot of the mutilated. I didn't do a lot of research on this just uh, because I, I found out a lot of other stuff we'll talk about later. But what I did, because it, it was really hard finding out things about, uh, you know, the ET. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See that blinking down there? Yeah. What is it? I think it's a number from the flood. I think it's a. Okay, so construction. Okay, this is basically like a lot of things about the highway. It, it relates to Area Fifty One, right. you know, um, the mutilated cattle. It's um, there. There's a few test sites around the area that um, that take these cattle in, and they check out. You know, like okay, okay, it's uh, you know, they they died because of this or. Blah blah blah, but a lot of um, like there, there's a theory out there that says you know that it could be caused by like flies, like the way like that they, I don't know. I I gotta look at my notes. I don't want to just say shit, <laughs> you know. Fair enough. But um, yeah. But um, we'll, we'll we'll talk about it next uh, next podcast because I got a lot of stuff from the, on on the mutilations and stuff. But there's a few theories of why they say um, because what I do know. Like a hundred percent is it's it's usually like their ears are taken out, their eyes, their um, their genitals. It's it, it's like and it's 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 surgically cut like perfectly, and it's always like that like every time. And um, there's yeah there, there's a few insects that might be the culprit, but why would they do the same? It just it it doesn't make sense. But there's research centers that uh, that test that stuff out here. Wow. 
and what's in abundance out here as we're driving cattle everywhere. Yes. But yeah, I didn't. And, and um, jackrabbits. Jackrabbits, yeah. I couldn't find any specific stories either about cattle mutilations off of ET Highway or on mm-hmm. ET Highway. I couldn't oh, find any either. We did see a lot of signs. Um, walking up the road, like you shut your light off, and all the Joshua trees turn black in the dark. Yeah. And they all look like bears just standing there <laughs> looking at you. Or people. It's like that scene in The Shining, the book, with the garden animals. Oh, like yeah. They come, come alive. Yeah. That's so fucking scary. Say it again. Well, actually, hey, Jay. Dave has a... Hold on. What's... He has a theory of... Dave. Yeah. About uh, the mutilations. With, uh, like, how... Um, well, you know, like, a lot of them, like, mo- most of them, uh, like, like, surgically, they have the ears removed, the tongue... Uh, like the yeah, testicles. They, they take like genitals and they take like eyeball, like core out and eyeball. Internal and stuff. organs and things. Yeah. Surgical and specific, yeah, specific right. things. And it's always these like small blue orbs that like pop up like around the time that these things happen. Yes. Yeah, so I must wonder if those are spacecraft of like a small race of aliens that, or interdimensional beings or whatever that are collecting those parts either as a food source or some sort of like maybe they're trying to get some sort of mineral or element out of those parts like maybe there's something like you know that part in um guardians of the galaxy where they like there's like the giant head that that's like a meeting place and everyone's like collecting like the brain matter and the like viscous fluid head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah god remnants what were you going to say Oscar? i was asking if he's closer for screen. oh sure We're still sky watching, not really seeing nothing. We're we're trying to will the UFOs down, but uh, obviously nothing is nothing has taken place. Still eyes to the sky. But Joe, what um, I talked about the black mailbox earlier in this episode. But who was the guy that owned the black mailbox originally? Okay, so originally is Steve uh, Medlin. Steve he, Medlin. Okay. He, yeah, he's the guy that that basically owned the mailbox. I I don't know how it came to be. But ever, like like all the UFO like enthusiasts, they started coming out and started sifting through his mailbox. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and uh, it just this was the gathering spot because they would say that you know people would come out like like if, if you're like they might have two or three UFO sightings per week, you know. Oh, yeah. And this was the gathering spot. They're sifting through his mailbox. Got a little pissed off. Okay, changed it to a white mailbox. Okay, a, a more secure mailbox. I, I, I don't know if he's the one that actually did it or somebody did it for him. But the top mailbox, um, it was uh, it was a big mailbox, and then there was one underneath. It was a little mailbox. Um, the only research I could find on it was uh, there was actually a, a, a postal worker that came out. And uh, she was, uh, you know, doing an interview saying, well, a lot of people from around the world and just even our, our country, but let alone the world, they mail stuff to Area 51 and all the Area 51 mail now would go to this mailbox. Hmm. And the big mailbox on top would go to Area 51, but the little mailbox off to the side, it was... To the aliens at Area Fifty One. Yeah, oh, wow. and uh, so I mean, and and she would just it would it'd be nothing but you know letters and letters upon letters upon letters. But eventually, I guess eventually, due to vandalism, you know, either somebody stole it or that's gone. I heard they put up another one that's gone, yeah. but start off uh, Steve Medlin's black mailbox for his ranch. Yes, I see. Turned into. You know, a white, a, a bigger white uh, mailbox, more secure, with two mailboxes. The top is for people with, you know, Area Fifty One. The bottom for aliens. So it was more of a joke at that point. Yeah. Huh. But well, I mean, it, a, a joke, but people like would seriously send it here, but it was not knowing. Yeah, it wasn't yes. people at Area no. Fifty One coming out here and yeah. collecting their. But mail. even though it was, nice. it was a white mailbox, they still called it the black mailbox. Yeah, it sounds cool. And, yeah, yeah, they they got they always kept the name and. What it is now, it's, I mean, it's still the, the site of the black mailbox. And with the little shrine. Yeah. Cool. 
I was also thinking, because we were talking about cattle mutilations, I was thinking back. I know in 2010 and 2016, there were quite a few, they call it bovine excision, Mm -hmm. uh, cattle mutilation. There were quite a few of them in this area of the the military base here, Area Mm -hmm. 51, where, you know, tongues and cheeks and eyes and um, other internal organs were removed perfectly. So there's quite a few documented cases in 2010 and 2016. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's hard to find that stuff, you know. I mean, it's hard to find stuff you can take serious. Mm-hmm. Um, so, do, well, do, documented, yeah. right? And uh, just uh, before we came here, what did we see? Tons of cattle. You and guys jumped the, the out sign. Of the eh? What sign? I'm sorry. With the the cattle, with the spaceship. Above oh, it. with the yeah. spaceship. Yeah, it's yeah. an actual road sign, uh, not someone painted. It's a road sign from the state that has a cattle, a cow yeah. with a big UFO above it. So, well, s- something also too, like I, 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 I did find it with the cattle mutilation is there is a lot of, I don't know if they're local artists, but there's artists that just put up signs out here, and a lot of them have the cattle with the UFO with the lines, like they're abducting the cattle. Oh, wow. Yeah, as, as as a joke or whatnot, but yeah. you know, they're cool looking. I want one for my own. Yeah, that would be cool. And just the fact that the, the state put out real signs with UFOs above the cows. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it, they take it lightly or they, you know, it, it's meant to draw tourism, what it is, if it's a joke to them, but it's it's pretty interesting. Um, we've been standing out here for well over. It's very fun. Probably well over two hours and. We saw a little little bit of movement in the sky earlier, but uh, that that explode that light ball that ball of light that just suddenly appeared in the horizon over there when we first pulled back up to the black mailbox. When we returned to the black mailbox, that round explosion in the sky, kind of looking thing, that was pretty mm-hmm. pretty interesting. But that uh, the light underneath the hills also died. Yeah, the lights we the lights we saw earlier, which we, we followed. Uh, um, those are gone. The light coming from like underneath the mountains. Those are gone. Yeah, the elect- the, the mm-hmm. lightning looking thing. You guys were calling it the Tesla coil. Mm-hmm. Just kept exploding in that same spot over and over again. That's gone. Everything's calm. What would you do to find out the source of those lights beyond the hills? What would I do? How far would you go for that information? Like, what would you do? If there is a thing to sacrifice, I would. Okay. I would. What would you do? I would. Si- I would sacrifice my friend Oscar. I'd have him walk all I mean, the way would, over if there. If they wanted Dave, <gasps> I would not. I wouldn't have any qualm with giving them Dave for the info. Me either. I think we all agree on that one. Um, I don't know. You know, when when we were in the thick of it, when we didn't know what was going on, and we seemed like we were, it seemed like we were surrounded by this stuff. Um, I was pretty panicked. I I, don't, I still think one of them was. Something. I don't know if I wanted to know at that particular time. I didn't want to go any further. But well, you have an actual go, fear go, go. of them. Yeah, I do not like aliens. No, no, no. I mean, like, what if it, it wasn't even what aliens? Was... It was like okay. if it was military, because there was literally two coming at us this way, two oh, coming at us yes. off to our left. And, oh, what were you going to so you, you uh, Well, first of all, I do think that one of them was something. You an aircraft. I do think one of them was. I don't think they can all be explained such vaguely. They weren't all following the straight line that looked like a road on the mountain. They, they were they were hovering right. <clears throat> mid, not all of them point did. in the mountain. Wait, and you saw the way they moved. They yeah, yeah. Skip. It was strange. It was super strange. And that could be a tunnel, though, but you never know. Um, but the, the, what I mean is that not for you to see them necessarily, what they're doing, but like you get a dossier that explains it. What would you do for that? For ultimate revelation? For, yeah, to what's going on. To what we've been wanting. I mean, I don't. Um, uh, I mean, this is all fantasy. We're never gonna know. It's a tough question. I mean, I mean, that never. I mean, it would have to be a massive exposure on a national, worldwide level for us to know. But otherwise, other than barring that, we're not gonna know. So, I mean, you know, I wouldn't give like a, a family member over or anything like that. I'm not saying that either. Uh, like, would you, dude? Her, I swear to maybe. God, I just saw a shooting star right there. Cool. It was a red. Make a wish. I don't know, Oscar. I don't know what I would give. Um, like, part of me wants to know. All part your of savings? Me doesn't want to know. No, yeah, I would probably give savings for. Uh, I would need notes. Corvette. Oh, my Corvette. Yeah, I would probably give my Corvette. I probably would give you a Corvette. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but I would need to know it's legit information, and how could you prove that it's legit information? 
Well, I mean, I would say I would take you there, but you're afraid of it, so I'm telling you a dossier. I'm just giving you whatever. I'll yeah, do. no, no. Yeah. I mean, if I someone, would want to if be someone there. came out right now, so a big white truck came out, because that's what they say. Why it's got to be white? They're in the white trucks. Yeah. Well, speaking um, about big white trucks. Wait, wait, let me finish. I think there actually is the second car of the night. The fourth or the fifth, dude. Anyway. Um, if, if one of those big white trucks pulled up with armed guards and said, you uh, Chicago Zone Supernatural Current Studies? Yes. You're homeless you enough. You can, we can show you. Why not? We do this Let's go with us. You want answers? This is your lucky night. Um, well, two I would go. I would definitely go. But okay. I would go. I would say, let's do this. Um, Maybe a hell of a podcast, son. Oh, man. That's just this. Uh, I would do it. I, I would try not to be afraid. I would go. I would be exhilarated. But if they said that, that would surprise me. It's hard to surprise me, but that would truly surprise me. Really? If they're like, we'll tell you, but then we're going to kill you, I'd say, F you, I don't want to know. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. But there's people out there, like, absolutely. If I could die knowing, that's yeah. fine. I'm I mean, my life is pretty pathetic enough where I could do that. I don't have any family to keep or responsible for anyone else but myself. But that's still not enough. I have value my own life more than in the secrets of some fucking government. Yeah. Bit mountain. That was a good question. How about you? <clears throat> if they said, we're going to put a bullet in your head, but we are taking you to the bowels of Area 51 to show you all, you will die knowing the truth. Would you do it? Hell no. Good. All right, so we're There's on the no same way page. Would. We're on the same page. I'm not going to even ask it. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. But you only like it. <laughs> Pinch poke, buy me a Coke. Yeah. I mean, because, like, I mean, realistically, what would it matter? I mean, it Just, all... you could die knowing the truth. I mean, that there is something mind. about that. Like, I would love to know the secrets of, like, Galaxies, or, or or the Enlightenment, or the fifth. I would well, die for that information, probably right. to know what that is, hmm. because that's better. That's bigger than this. Yeah, but supposedly, in you know, when we die, aren't we supposed to know anyway? Right, right. That's exactly right. It's almost like a. Well, yeah. Can't you ask a question? To the opposite of damned if you do and damned if you don't, because it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, whatever that would be. Um, but like at the same it's time, like almost like a waste. You know, knowing and being able to um, reach people here in some capacity. Not because no one's going to believe that anyway. But in a way where you can show something that is 100% vindictively real, yeah, that would be cool. Or how about... Uh, I would kill for that. Not you guys. We're going to tell you. I feel like, you know, a couple homeless people. We're going to take you to the bowels. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to let you walk out of here. Yeah. But there's going to be something installed in you. You know it, but you cannot say it. Oh, I'll take You're that. walking around. I'll take that. Okay. okay. Would you? Yes, I would. Wouldn't you take have that? Have all that info, not be able to tell anybody. For an example, I know, and I know. That's, that's you've probably I know. you've probably seen this movie, Oscar: Tales from the Dark Side. A long time ago, so I don't remember. Do you remember nope. when he he found the gargoyle? He saw the gargoyle. Oh, oh yeah, the girl. Uh huh. And little she's little like, girl. "Listen, I will let you live as long as you never speak a word of this ever again." Yeah. The day that he did it. Twenty years later, dead. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then they all turned stone movie. or something like that, and they all died or something. I have to pause. There's a car coming. They get found. No, uh, no, no, no. Well, yeah, there's a car coming. I'll yeah. step back. But they get found. Yeah. Basically, basically, his uh, his, he he wound up meeting this uh this this woman later on, and they had this, they had a family together, and then um, he felt so much in love with her that he had to tell her a secret. The truth. And then. Uh, it happened that they she the was goggles. the one. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know what would be worth for some people. I assume that means I can't write it down either. What's that? I couldn't write it down. Couldn't write that. You cannot. Right. You, there's a, something implanted in you where you cannot ever See, express I, I like the, the idea information. Of what he said, like it's a curse thing. Like when you can actually do it, but once doing it means death. Yeah. I had the idea that in my deathbed I can write it all down or something. Yeah. Or like it. when I'm old, like I'm 80, 70. I don't give a shit. I'm 60. Take my um, life now. Right. Take my life now. I'm done with whatever. But I being want. able to live for another thirty years with all this information of the world that would kill for. You do. You have no idea. It's hard not to convince people that I'm a human being or that I have emotions. So <laughs> people don't believe that. So I'm already stuck in that paradox. So I'm, I can deal with it. You know? I don't know, man. Okay. The older I They're get, the questions. more. You know, I can't convince people to like a movie that they should like. And <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. That's no, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Star Wars. It's a, it's a normal movie. The older I get, the more desensitized I get. The more I give a shit about anything, kind of. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Well, you See, don't I think I'm the exact opposite. Really? The, more, the older I get, the more I care about everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm with them on that. I care more. I used to care. I'm definitely more sentimental. I'm more um, yeah. magnanimous. I try not, to, uh, not, not about, like, 
friends and family and people and stuff. I'm just talking about um, yeah, the experience. It's, it's overbearing. The, the world, the chaotic unfairness of the world is overbearing. You get older, you realize that you care like, less and you care more about the community. Just saw a shooting star. Yeah. I, swear to God. Uh, I, I saw a red one over here. I swear I swear to you. Like, I, they remember I, I told you I saw one? I saw one over here. But it's like a wish green. No, that was cool. That was a nice shooting star. It was like right above um, Well, I clearly should be standing on this one. But what, what, what I'm talking about is, um, you know, it, it's, it's I, I thought there was going to be so much more in the earth and, and, and in life. It's, all, it's, all, it's almost like Santa Claus, you know. It's like, like when, when you're a kid and you have all these dreams and hopes, oh, there's all this magical stuff out here. And then in reality, like, wait, that's it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I think that, uh, that's where I'm getting it. I think you're wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing more magic. Really? It's like, it's like there's, there's like, it's like a, it's like a valley. Like we were as kids, we see the mountain of magic. We think a valley. We're at this age, maybe, or around this age. No, I think it's rising up again. It's level good, up. Good for you. Yeah, I think it's the, the whole adulthood. <laughs> and it's like the more I meet people, and um, and just see things for what they are. I think most people are just bullshit. I think it, you know what I mean, though. I treat I treat it like the way we we like our life our lifespan. We're watching M Night Shyamalan movies where we had this peak. We learned not to have crazy expectations for one man making all these movies, and now he's rising up again. You know, like he's getting we're meeting those expectations instead of overdoing it or underdoing it. And I think that means that there is magic. It's just that we're seeing it but professionally. Nice. Like, I, I, like, I like how you say high expectations. I, I had a lot of high expectations, and then uh, I still do about when, certain things, but not everything. Yeah, and now it's like even like just music or whatever. I'm like, wait, that's it? It's like, wait, I, I'm, I'm doing what these people are doing, and then I can do a little a little better. It's like, no, you know what I'm saying? Though, think about how we always say, you know, we did a haunted location the show, and that's it. Yeah, right. Once in a while, when we we're younger, oh my god. You know, and, yeah, and now, now it's that's like, it. It's all rumor, conjecture, nonsense. Been there, done it. Type. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's what it is. Your occasional pop and activity, but overall, it's like, that's it. That was the magic. You know what I mean? That, yeah. That's exactly what it was. So you know, when we were done, we when we were 16, like, we oh my God. How, how we would have felt if we were there. I mean, it was great to be there to see oh, yeah. there and check it off the list, right? But, but it is. It was just, yeah, it's, it's, no, I mean, I, I think that's, I, that's no, cool. no, we got there and we should have expected that. We knew it, right? And I got one lie. You guys are infectious with your hopes because I had my hopes just right. It's what you guys <laughs> you start talking. Yeah. yeah. So you see, you get all these high expectations so you start hanging out with us. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. It happens to a lot of people. Yeah. Thank <laughs> like, A lot of people around. We're, we're the people ruiners, Chief. Yeah. See, some of us kill people. Some of us kill snakes. Here it comes. Rattles. Never going to live it down. Well, guys, what do you think? Spent uh, spent the evening uh, chasing lights, searching for UFOs, hanging out on ET Highway. Yeah, they're probably just flashing at us. Been trying to will them down. They ain't coming down. No. I wish they'd take Dave. <laughs> Come on, guys. Dave, where is he? Don't jinx him. He's sleeping in the Don't jinx him. Come on, guys. You know you want to. <laughs> just come get him. Even they don't You know what? That, that's one way we can get rid of aliens. <laughs> They'd have ducked him and like, fuck this place, and we're never coming back. <laughs> Planet Earth, no way. Yeah, no way. Well, they can keep them. You hear the, all these forager comedians they got there? <laughs> 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 we were right in front of his face. We were right in front of his face the other night, bouncing around the sky. He didn't believe us. Well, I should call it. I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing anything moving. No. I saw a couple of shooting stars. That was cool. That little explosion, that little circular pulse of light was cool. But uh, definitely not intense like last night. Yeah. All right. Well, any last thoughts before we call this episode to a close? No, let's go see. Jason Knight, Joe Erie. Oscar Specter and somewhere Dave Black <laughs> signing off. Katie Knight, take us.
Wait, what's this? We're back? You we're back. That, you thought that was the end, didn't you? It sounded like it. Yeah, I don't know, but you're wrong. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> what do we have in store? What we have in store is uh, a slight blast from the past. Uh, that episode was recorded. We have another clip here of our first night in Alamo. Um, on E.T. Highway. On E.T. Highway, right. And then we just had to stop and sightsee and watch that beautiful galaxy in all its glory. And lo and behold, we busted out the task cam and started recording our shitstorm of emotions that um, because we saw lights moving. Something, Something happened. Something did happen. Not, right. not the night you just heard, but the night before. The night before, right. So it wasn't the official E.T. Highway episode, but it uh, makes more sense to just put it in here at the end and include it with this episode because obviously it makes perfect sense and reason. And uh, I figure we'd uh, prelude that clip by talking a little bit here now that we're back at home. Editing up, drinking a little bit. Drinking milk and cookies. That's right. We're classy <laughs> people here, folks. We're wholesome, really. <laughs> Although by this time, we're one episode after the cat house, so we're sorry for that. Um, let's see. Oh, good call. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Sorry, yeah, sorry about that cat house episode, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> this is our one and only apology <laughs> because we're either going to do a lot of more brothels or we're never doing one again. <laughs> I don't. But after that experience, man, I, I right. don't. I don't know what to do anymore. Right. Yeah, life is. We stopped. probably lost listeners on that one, or gained a lot more. I hope we gained a lot more. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, definitely one for the books, as we say. But this one's one for the books for us because uh, it's you know I've only I've only had one other alien encounter that I mentioned in a previous show. I forget which one. Where when I was a kid at a ranch in Mexico, I saw some lights that were doing some strange things. Two of them, they were like uh, playing with each other in the sky. Um, that was fun, and I still remember it. And this is another one. This is my second one of this kind of quality. And this is our, like I said, we go high rampant with the emotions. Dave, as usual, on the clip, you'll be hearing him being a scully, even more so than usual. He's explaining his all everything away. But Joe and Jay are freaking out, and we apologize for whatever spikes of levels they perform. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how this audio is going to come out. I was, yeah. I was even worried about playing this clip because mm-hmm. I was kind of embarrassed with the way I was acting. We were acting like giddy school children. It was freaky, man. Yeah, like yeah. It was just recess for us. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even going to spoil it. Let's just let the listeners listen right. to it. Um, I would be curious mm-hmm. because we explain what we see. Yeah. Dave does his scully thing like you said. Mm-hmm. I would be curious to see what the listeners think of right. – because we do a lot of our theory, explaining. We yeah. do calm down at some point and explain it more again, but we do explain it in several different ways. Yeah, whose theory they adhere to more? Ours, right. the three of us who are seeing the same exact damn thing right. from different angles, different <laughs> vantage points, seeing the same exact thing, right. or Dave's. Or Dave's. <laughs> so listeners, you know the email address, submissions at sos-radio.com. Let us know what you think. Right, and uh, one more last thing before we introduce the clip is that uh, there's a good portion of it where I walked away. I was looking at a different set of sky where I had my own little light going. Um, and we described also in the video, in the clip, I mean, uh, the lights coming off the foothills off behind the mountains. On right, side, yeah, you know. yeah. Um, and I was there, and I sort of got, you know, my my girlfriend um, was um, is very into this kind of thing, very spiritual, very galaxy driven person <laughs> he believes in aliens and stuff like that so i kind of gave her uh gave them the lights a prayer to tell her that i said hey <laughs> that's a hello but so do you I think they were reacting to you but i didn't we didn't record that i was off of myself yeah but, you, you stepped way back by the car yeah way back um but yeah i don't know if they heard me and they didn't twinkle any more or less um the movement pattern did change but it was already changing so i'm not gonna give myself all the credit for that but i just want to say that i did do that and um maybe she got the message you know that would be cool. Right? Yeah. Anyway, let's start the clip. So the aliens didn't come down to take Dave. No. Like I was trying to will him to do, right. but maybe they yeah. communicated your message to your girlfriend. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. I gave a simpler request. <laughs> right. Maybe yeah, I was asking too much. Aim, aim low, man. <laughs> aim low. They're like, we don't want Dave either. <laughs> right. Don't ask for Toys R Us. That's for the dollar store. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Let's, I mean, let's let the listeners uh, yep. hear this. That's crazy good. file. Enjoy, guys. And life coming over there. Okay. Jason Knight, Oscar Spector, Dave Black, Joe Erie. Middle of ET Highway. Pulled over. Uh, there's something going on right now. Um, it's, 
It's a craft in the sky. It is silent. It is patterned, uh, flying to the left, stopping, flying to the right, zigzag, Z pattern, uh, like a figure eight pattern. Um, It's about 10, close to 11 p.m., I think, Pacific. And we just watched this thing dance in the sky. I didn't even think to grab the TAS cam. I was so fucked up. And there were these flashes of light in the horizon. There it goes. There it goes. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it the way it starts and stops. Now it's shooting over to the right. Whoa. Did you just see it move like fucking crazy? Now it stopped. Now it's shooting to the left. Oh, dude. Oh, look. Whoa. Dude, Dave, you had to see that. I'm not. Guys, I'm staring at the same thing. You're a fuck. At, and I don't see, I see a blinking light. That's all it is not a blinking light. The thing is flying. Oh, now it's about, now it's going shooting to the right. Now it's shooting to the left. Oh my god. Oh, it's going far to the left. Far stop Dude, to the this. right. All the way to Dave, you have to see this. Oh, this is oh my god. I'm seeing what you're seeing now. But I think Here, let Dave rationalize this. Go ahead. Tell me it's a satellite, it's an airplane. Okay, first of all, for the last five, ten minutes we've been staring at this thing. There it goes. It's literally looked like just There it goes. Just like a blinking light Whoa. sitting in the did, sky. Did you something just fucking fell off of it? Did you see that? I didn't see I it. I swear okay. to God. Dave, you're yeah. seeing that you right, look, right. three of us are seeing and, the exact same shrinking. thing. All right. And it's shrinking now. All right, now it looks like it just dipped down a it's little dying. bit. It's dying. It's dimming. And now it looks like it's going There it goes out. shooting to the right. Look at it go. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, but it's, it can, now it's circle back. Okay. So here's here's what I'm seeing. All right. Oh my God! When you guys first seeing this thing going, like doing whatever you think it's doing, there it goes to the right. It's going all the way to the right. Now it's going. All oh, it's it, going. It's it, going. It, it died out. I mean, I still see it, but see how the light is dying out. Did you just see that little yes. hump underneath it? Yes. Yeah, it was like a little. Um, it, 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 does, it looked almost like a cloud appeared for a split second underneath it. Okay, so this is this is where I'm coming from here. Yeah. I was staring at this thing the same way you guys were for five minutes. And it simply looked like a stationary star. Which it wasn't like, because all blinking, three of us were seeing it move the same way. In the sky. I just started to notice the pattern that you're... There it goes. And it's like almost like a, like a strobe light. Like it's not like moving in a fluid motion. It's like blink, blink, blink. Yeah. Blink, blink, blink. I think we're seeing some kind of optical illusion is what we're seeing. I don't think that thing is moving. I think... When we're blinking or whatever, no, I'm not. There's I'm not some, okay, um, no, it's because it's not. Dude, I mean, you're not. Nothing. You're not rationalizing. No, no, this. no there's I'm no not. way. It, 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 dude, but it's not. It's not moving from the spot that it's in. It's staying within the same, you know, like centimeter in the sky of our. It's our hovering field over over something. It's there for a reason. But it's not. It's not like just because it's not jetting across the whole no, sky. No, I'm saying it's not going up. It's not going down. It's not coming. It's it not does coming, go down. It's actually, it's not coming closer. It's not going farther away. Dude, it's, it's staying insane. all within the same, you know, small little look space at it go. in the sky. Look at it go. Okay, so I'm going to stare at another. I'm going to stare at this no, star. No, at, no, no. I'm staring at this star. The moon. Look at this one under the moon over here. There's another one under the moon over here, blinking in the same way. You see it? Just like. It's not doing what this is doing. This is obvious. And there's another one far, over there goes shooting far left. There's another one over here, too. What? There it goes. Oscar's got, got something over there that he's seeing, too. Look at it go. It's doing the same thing. Stop. Boom. Up. Okay, now it looks like it moved. Up. Yeah. Down to the right. Over to the right. Oh. Stop. Shit. Down, it just went down a little bit. Wait now a it's shooting to the left. And it's changing color, and it was so much brighter before. Wait. Yeah. You, do you know what I think we're seeing? I think we're seeing a cloud, clouds moving in front of it, like really light clouds moving then in front of it. Why aren't these stars? But here, here, listen. There's a, there's a star right there. Okay, imagine there's, there's really fine clouds right now that are moving around, that are moving in front of it, that we, can barely, we can't even make out the clouds, we can't even barely see them. And what we're seeing is, we're seeing the reflection of that against the clouds. We're seeing, like, 
the light filter through, and it makes it look like it's bouncing around. I don't... There's, there's another one over here. There's another one over here. There's... Yeah, I found those two, too. Like yeah, but look how look, look how here, far look, it's moving. Look, 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 yeah, that, to our, look. See those clouds right yeah, there? Yeah. There's clouds in the sky right now. So right, there's, and there's a star right in the cloud, and it's not moving like this thing over here is moving. Yeah, no, no way. No, I don't know because I, I have actually seen. A guys, I stopped staring at it for a while. I came back. It, it looks like it's moved dramatically this way. Like enough, like a whole inch. Let's be closer to it. How about this? I, okay, because we got to go this way anyway. Let's try to be up on it. Okay. It's a, it's probably a billion miles away. It is. Well, no. Let, let's let's at least go like about like. And what, the lights coming miles? over here too, by the way. The, the flashing light is behind these two up too. Yeah. What was the flashing light? These two. See, this one, the brighter one, is a slightly less brighter okay. one here. What we're seeing right now, like you have to understand, what we're seeing right now, we're not used to seeing a sky like this where there's no light pollution. We're we're hundreds of miles away from like any large city. Okay. Yeah. We're we're probably what 80 miles away from any sort of airport so we're we're this looking is also a test site Dave, man, we're looking at what well, we're looking at a pristine sky that we've never seen before so all these you see how all the the stars you look at are twinkling and blinking yeah. and stuff do you ever see that shit in the city no not really because you can't see through all the haze and bullshit so what we're seeing right now is we're seeing a, a pristine crystal clear sky probably for the first time um, I mean, I've seen I've seen skies like this before, but never in such an isolated place. Right now, where we're at, there is literally no civilization like major city I've for seen some really nice hundreds of miles. Wisconsin. I've been in ranches and shit. I've seen this. <laughs> All right, come before. on, let's go. Let's go toward it. Okay. I guarantee you that thing is not going to move, and it'll still be there tomorrow. But look, you could see through. I could see clouds. You could see clear spots through the clouds. And yet, it still moves in that clear spot. But I don't think I. Okay, so. It yeah, but but it, I'm like looking at it, and I know it's stationary. But I can see clouds moving in front of it, and then you see you. It looks like it's like, it's like blinking like like this. This is the kind of the pattern you're seeing, right? Where it's yeah, not where it's not. No, like, it's doing. It's not moving it's, in a fluid motion. It's, it's moving like blinking. No, dude, it, it does, it glides this way. It, it's gliding, you know, it, it, See, but I'm and it seeing, comes up and I'm then down. It, I'm seeing it as like a strobe pattern. Like it's like, ding, 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 like almost like a, like a marquee no, light. Moving, man. Like marquee lights almost. That, see, oh, right now, God. boom, it just glided. It just gl glided Did to the right. See the whole fucking thing light up underneath? No, because I look but back at you. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the second time it happened. Look at it go. It looks like it's going so far. Now it's going through. Yeah, it's, it's so like jaggedy. So right now, it's staying still. And then, did you, did you cut out? It's cloud. I'm moving my hand like the way it's moving. It's still, Whoa. it's going slow. It's almost like a fish bobber. Like it's like, you know, it's like it's, it's so sporadic. You see it moving up? And it keeps on changing colors and shape. Now it's coming down. I don't know. It's not like the light. See how it's dimming? Yeah, it definitely doesn't seem to be as bright as it was. Now it just kind of seems like a, a little bit brighter than the stars around it, where before it was noticeable. Yeah. Let's get closer to it. That's awesome. 
I don't look care. At, these aren't doing anything. That's fucking moving. A lot of space is bad too. They well, this is what I think. I can experience it as a little kid, you know. Um, and it, it camouflaged as stars. Remember I told you that story? Uh, yeah, yeah, and then they all kind of blew up. Oof. Yeah. And, well, I mean, if you were going to be hiding, what would you be doing? You'd be pretending you're a star, right? Yeah. It's not moving now. There it goes. There it is. See, to me, it just shot off to the right. There it goes to the left. Uh-huh. Towards us. Us. Left. Left. Now right. Left. Oh, see, left. to me, it's right. Left. Left. Now to left. me it's going. Well, well this way. It's going yeah, this way. Yeah. Now it is. <sighs> so fucking weird, man. Man. That is weird. <sighs> All right, signing out. I don't know if we'll use this footage, but at least we got it. Thanks everyone for listening to the SOS Dash Radio Podcast. Search SOS Dash Radio Podcast on iTunes and give us a rating. Download our free mobile app by searching Supernatural Occurrence Studies on Google Play, Apple App Store, and Amazon App Store. Visit us online for ghostly photos that coincide with our podcasts, videos, and other exclusive content at sos-radio.com, chicagosos.com, and supernaturalocurrencestudies.com. Follow us on Facebook at sos-radio.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Chicago Ghosts. Subscribe to the Chicago's Own Supernatural Occurrence Studies YouTube channel for exclusive video content. Follow Jason Knight on Google+. Plus. That's Knight, N-H-Y-T-E. Email us at submissions at sos-radio.com and call or text anytime at 872-529-0-SOS. That's Chicago's area code, 872-529-0767. And as always, kind listeners, keep your head up, eyes open, and question everything. Want to save your soul from hell arriving on our range? <laughs> Cowboy, change your ways today. <laughs> With us, you will ride. Ride next to the devil's turn.